Hello, third grade, and happy Star Wars Day. You're doing workbook page 112, language dive note catcher, model for the narrative, choosing words and phrases for effect. We have not completed too many language dives together, so I know this has been a little tricky when you've been on your own. Hopefully, this won't be too tricky. I'll kind of help you through it. They have a picture here of a nightgown. Why, that is a fine nightgown you're wearing there, young Peter, he said admiringly. So using a different adjective to speak admiringly, that's using a complimentary tone. So we need to replace this word fine for the language drive. So that is a blank nightgown. Think of another word that you could use to describe the nightgown that um, you would admire. So you would really like that nightgown. Please pause the video to do that. Down here, it says to sketch the sentence showing Solomon speaking admirably in a complimentary tone. So you would sketch what you picture here in your mind. There are two people. There's Peter and there's Solomon. So close your eyes and picture while I read the sentence. Why, that's a fine nightgown you are wearing there, young Peter, he said admiringly. So sketch, so I want you to open your eyes, pause the video and sketch or draw what you visualized when I read that sentence. Okay, hopefully you sketched two people talking to each other in that box. The next section says complete the sentence frame to give someone a compliment. Use a complimentary tone. So I'm going to do one. You are not going to write this one. I'm just doing this as an example. I want you to write one on your own. So that is a, let's see, that is a, well, I can see my cat, Gracie. So that is a nice, cat. Let's put nice and cat. I know there's two blanks there. If you, you can just think of it as one big blank if you have more than two words that you're using. That is a nice cat you have. That's a, have is a good way to finish that sentence so it makes sense. And it says down here, it even gives you a hint. It says that is a, and then you have to put an adjective and a noun, and then a verb phrase. So adjective, nice, it's describing something. Noun, cat, so the adjective is describing the noun. And then my verb phrase is have. Now I'm going to put, I said complimentary. Now, if you are having a hard time thinking of a word that is similar to admiringly, you might want to use a thesaurus. Those are online. Or maybe you can ask an adult to help you brainstorm if you don't have access to a thesaurus online. I know most people do not have the sources at home. I do not believe I have one here unless it's out in the garage with my school stuff. So now you will pause this video. Well, not pause the video because this is the last thing. So you will um, complete your own section, your own for this, your own compliment. I don't want to see nice cats. 
I want to see you complimenting someone else about something. It could be anything. It could be their hair. It could be, you know, their shoes. It could be their book. It could be something they do. You know, just think of a compliment that you might give someone. This is all I have for today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, third grade.